Well, welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Dark Cloud. Now, I imagine this is going to be quite long because this game is long and rather tedious at points. There's a lot of um, world building you got to do in this game. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who coded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. Whether or not this is a true story, do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story this ancient book tells of. A magical and magnific magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Well, I could leave it as the default name, but I never do, because that's just how I roll. Yep. Ah, location. Well, you know things are gonna get bad if they're at a dark shrine praying to something. Ah, uh, ritualistic dancing. We've gathered quite a few of them. I have a hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to produce good material, you do need adequate. I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problems. Yes, sir. Thank you. So what will happen? Very soon, sir. Let's enjoy the ceremony until it's the time. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to clear my throat. Shouldn't have had that spicy shrimp on um, ramen. Okay, are they gonna do something actually other than dance, or are we meant to be memorized by the fact they're doing this creepy dance around a boiling cauldron? To summon the powers of darkness. Flag, sir, do you know the legend of the dark genie sealed in here? Of course, how much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine! style I didn't go so fast. Four hundred years ago, the Genie of Darkness appeared in the East, and with its evil power, the world was burnt away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. Probably nothing good. It is the dark genie after all? Oh, great. So now is the time. Yes, sir, so it seems. Ah, oh, it's the Majin Boo of genies. What? This is the genie? 
Well, it's quite different than I imagined. Ancient Dark Genie, this is it. Hey, who are you guys? Welcome back, Genie of Darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Oh, is that right? Whatever. Fine. Here, yes, that's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. Don't I have to eat something? I need food. Food! Got you. Huh? Well, uh, stop it! Help! That's what happens when you work for evil masterminds. Mmm, delicious. It really is Majin Buu of genies. Could at least turn them into candy or something first. Ah, two moons. Hi, how are you today? Well, but it's already started. Come on, let's go. Oh, I finally get to scroll the text at my own speed? Well, but it's already started. Come on, let's go. Just repeat it yourself. Come on. See, I told you you should have hurried. Mom, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you, Lobo. Hurry up. Eat faster. Yeah, he looks an awful lot like Link, doesn't he? He also uses a sword. I think it's mostly the hat and the ears. And he doesn't seem to talk. Yeah, I should have named him Link instead. Ah, more dancing. Well, at least this isn't a dance of evil. Ah, here we come. Uh oh. Oh shit, it's the Dark Genie. Look at the insects squirm about start there. <laughs> He's shooting magic out of his belly button. Show his leg. I'm his foot. Mouth. Horn on his head. What's the point of destroying this little village anyway? What, belong to a rival kingdom? Lobo! Um, what happened? I still don't know why he bothered doing this.
Now where are we? Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up! Hey! Listen! Ahem, I am the Fairy King. I'm the energy that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Really bad. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. And one night, half your world was annihilated. Ah, oh, so we're shooting all over the place, not just our town. Okay. It must be the men from the east that perform the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war, without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness. Pure darkness itself. Long ago, the so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power. And also a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decide to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. There. Surprised? That's called... Atilama, At 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 Atamilia? Whatever, I guess it doesn't really matter what it's called, right? Especially if no one's going to pronounce it, so... It's a stone with a magical power. So we got a magic rock. Okay. Can't have an RPG without a magic rock in it. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. You know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spears called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. Probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla using that at Atamilia and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. Maybe even be able to create an even better world than before. If you want 100% completion, I assume you have to do that. So yes, I probably will be using a walkthrough to figure out how to place things in this game. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh well, I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. This is gonna be a pain in my butt. It's so long. Well, at least give me a starting weapon. Ooh, a butterfly. Is that the smile of hope? Lobo, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of Earth. They're all calling for your help. Lobo, you'll probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Lobo, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. Yeah, a cave. I've gotten just a bit further than this before I gave up on this game the first time I played it. I have the same problem with Dark Cloud 2. I gave up probably about maybe a third of the way through it. Because it gets really tedious to do all the grinding you have to do for your weapons and stuff. Ah, oh, Lobo, you are alive. Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this would happen. One night in our village was gone. Can you believe this, Lobo? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? 
Well, you could tell them that not everyone's dead yet. Oh wait, we don't talk. I forgot about that. I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the Guardian of Norun Village. Drawn. I think. That's a D, right? Drawn will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask, Lobo. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Drawn what happens. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. I didn't see you hand me a key. Oh, well, there it is. Put things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. Will they be free, or are you going to charge me for them? Magic windmill. How do you know that if you haven't even been in there yet? Spiky bugs coming out. Oh, we got some fishing bait. Eh, nothing else in there, I guess. Um, anything else up here? Ah, dagger. Is that his bathtub? Why's he got a bathtub right next to his house? A house? I'm sorry, bed. I guess there's nothing else to search in here. Let's get ahead into the cave then. Though the cave generates random floor setups, if I remember correctly, so... No two runs are ever going to be the same. Okay. I can only rotate the camera one way, huh? We're only so far, because there's only limited camera control. I assume this is the cave they're talking about because it's in the village conveniently. So I can save from the menu, but I imagine I can't do it inside the cave, I'm guessing. Okay, so we've entered the Divine Beast Cave. And we're gonna have to get to the bottom. Floor one. It's real this time, Lobo. From here on, really puts the true test. First, conquer this wretched divine beast's cave and find Dron's lair. That's your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key, where the door leads to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divine Beast Cave, Dran's Crest will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monster to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to defeat them all one by one. Next, I'll tell you how to return to the ground level. Remember that advancing to the floor below. Turn to the ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Just select leave dungeon from the main menu. But beware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the mind connect won't work. They'll be blocked by their evil energies. In such cases, use the item escape power to get out on your own. Northern Village Cheese has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start the next level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next is on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable. 
The more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. Rent weapons from breaking. Use the item repair powder. It'll restore their weapon and HP. <laughs> so they actually have hit points. The longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus became stronger. It's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Well, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have on you, so it'll never disappear. But all the new weapons you will get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Especially since you don't want to have to rely on a dinky little dagger. Finally, the important stuff. The spear, at Hela, at Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of an Atla into Adamalia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you'll be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. You're right, Haz. Now, Lobo, show me your true ability on this quest. What would have been more helpful is explaining how to use my weapon. I already knew about the breaking stuff. Um. Okay, that's a slice. That's a female voice actor, I can tell. Um. Uh, yeah, this camera just drives me nuts. Got some repair powder, okay. Okay, that was sloppy. I took a hit. Um, did I get poisoned? Ah, some trees. Great. Oh, map. Got any antidotes on me? I guess I can see the... I hate this camera. I imagine that's your biggest enemy in this game, or it's going to be. It'd be nice if I could lock on enemies, too. Okay. Chest openings here. Uh, we find some oil. Come on, let's see what we got. A fence. Okay. It'd really help if I had a lock on. Okay, we got lock on, but I can't see the enemy. Okay, let's see. I don't have any more of that. Okay, we'll cover our health. Yeah, a lock on feature would be really helpful because this camera is such a pain in my butt. I gotta get in front of the chest to unlock it. There's more escape powder. Can I even clear this floor without getting the crap kicked out of me? That's the lock to the next floor. Probably gonna be going there for a while. Ugh, those cameras. That sucked. Is poison ever wear off? Oh, come on. Nope. 
I'm still poisoned. Ladder. Come on, let's pick up some more items. Road. That was sloppy. I died from poison. I couldn't pull up the menu. I guess we have infinite lives. That really sucked to find out that way. <laughs> Seems like he finally come back with some Atla. Very well then, I shall teach you as I promised. Piece of steel inside Atla. Are released by touching the Atla with your left hand. Where the power of Heltelomelia resides. Buildings and people that were sucked into to it would be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of Atlamilia. Well, let's move on. This make it a bit technical. If you want to place buildings, etc., press the select button while walking and go to the edit mode. Press the select button again to return to walking mode. In that mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. It must be faster than listening to my lecture. Oh yes, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, then use this. It's a guide for using a million other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. You know, it can be selected from the main menu. Read it carefully. Okay, I leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. <laughs> so long. Fingers pointing is where we're gonna end up, huh? I still hate this camera though. I can only imagine this is gonna be a long struggle with the camera, the way things are going. Hopefully, he has some stuff he can sell us. Okay, we get free items, okay. Poison antidote, escape powder, we got. I wish you could stack those items too. Now let's see if we can't actually clear the first floor at least, because I want to grind on it, I imagine, to build up my weapon if I can find one. I don't even know what this means. It hasn't gone up a level. Okay, drop the repair powder on. It's repaired. I lost my only repair powder, right? No, I had another one. I forgot I found one. In the sequel, you can stack the repair powders to a certain extent. You can carry like 20 of them. We still got at least two we have to find. They're gonna change the layout of this place if I remember correctly.
just to keep things interesting. Um, of course I get poisoned right off the bat. Oh, let's just do 12 or so for this from hitting me. I honestly wish I had a long-reaching weapon. Let's see if we actually get a gun. Just really helpful against these bats. So let's face it, hitting airborne enemies with that dagger really sucks. So I think I'll just leave it as is. I suppose it doesn't really matter though, right? It is a dagger. Pwn shaped keyhole. Nice. What else is down here? being able to change direction would be so nice. Oh shoot, we're thirsty. Yeah, you can die of thirst in this game too. It's just gonna give it stronger. <sighs> Not that that matters much. What's that shadow for? Was the fairy king following me around or something? way and I couldn't do anything because I don't have the key yet. Ugh, come on. Hope I can find a weapon on this floor somewhere. Gram seal on, or oh, that'd be the door. Um, 
wait, there's a offshoot over this way too. I'm not sure what you do with the tram. It's gotten more durable, I guess. But having two weapons would be better. Ugh. Fairy King follows me everywhere, I swear. Ah, I need to quench my thirst. In the sequel, they got rid of the whole thirst idea. It was a good idea, in my opinion. Having to constantly return to a pool to get your thirst taken care of was really stupid. That must mean what we're looking for is in here somewhere. Bait. Little fish bait. What's this? A big chest? Uh, got lucky there. Oh, yes, we finally got an actual weapon. suck. Um, can I equip this fire to it? Just have to get to the second floor door. Then I'll probably get out and then spend a bunch of time grinding on this floor, trying to build up some weapons that don't suck. And probably dying a lot off screen. And this is where you can get to the teleporter thing. See? enter it now. It's floor two for next time. I'm still going to have to build up my weapon. Well. Oop. 
Until next time, then. See ya.